What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar, and we are talking about five mining stocks Clean Spark, IREN, Marathon, Riot, Bit Farms at the request of Cow and Hopeful Voyage. This one's going to be quick because not a whole lot's changed with any of these stocks since last we've talked. Yes, Clean Spark looks a bit scary with this uh, current weekly candle, but we're doing the same thing we've been doing since, uh, since February now consolidating. We're just in this consolidation range. We're at the bottom of this range. It's probably a perfect time to DCA and scoop some more up. Um, let go of your short orders and buy some long or call orders, you know, whatever. Um, Anyways, I, I do think we're going to break out to the upside. If I'm wrong and we go lower, just an even better opportunity to buy. Probably a good reason why you shouldn't uh, use leverage trading in this in this uh, kind of environment because you absolutely could see prices move down to eleven eighty, twelve dollars, something like that. I'm more I'm more in favor of that like over the past couple of weeks than I have been really throughout most of this range. But my genuine opinion is that we're going to break out to the upside. I'm just saying this as a precaution for nobody to make high leverage moves and get caught with their pants around their ankles, right? So long story short, consolidating. We're gonna break out to the upside, move up to $36 or higher any week now. Probably not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but it, it could it could be weeks away from now. It could be next week, who knows, we'll, we'll see. But just biding our time, probably at a good area to buy. IREN is the next one, or IREN. Um, looking at this relative high to low here, I drew the FIB on, right? This relative high to low. Uh, hitting the expected area of extensions right like this and then moving down to your 886 level is a very common thing to do You're just shy of it. I would expect that you go down to 864 once you kiss that Maybe then you'll start moving up and maybe that would be an indication that the rest of these crypto stocks will move up too. you could go lower You could hit your 786 or even down to your 618 area. That is also fairly common time will tell We'll see how it goes But you know if you look at this for for what it's worth lows just kind of coming in into play here um, Maybe you do move all the way down to this area by the end of end of August by the end of this new month and then start moving up in September and that could imply that the rest of the mining stocks could consolidate in that amount of time too. IREN is not leading the mining stocks but they they all they, they don't all move together to be completely fair. But IREN has been the more bullish one recently so maybe it, maybe it is taking the lead for for a moment, I don't know. Um call it a, a theory. It doesn't have to be valid. Marathon also having a hell of a week, 16% down, consolidating. It's in its consolidation range and it's at some of the lower prices that it's been over the past couple weeks, right? It was at 27 at its highest um, recently speaking and now it's at 1814, probably a perfect prime area to buy. If we look at the relative low here to the relative high, you're right at your golden ratio, right at the 61869 area. Perfect time to buy. If it goes lower, it's even better. Um, you know, don't take my word for it, not a financial advisor, but I don't think that you're going to go lower than this low. You absolutely could go lower than you are now, but it's as good as any time to get in, in my opinion. And we're just waiting on it to break out to the upside as well. Um, when will that happen? I don't know. It could be this week. It could be next week. It could be next month, but time will tell. You know, we'll see. Uh, that's Marathon Riot. And I think Marathon will go up if we look at it for what it's worth. Low or high to low here. Probably up to 41 to $57. All right, that's Marathon Riot. Riot platforms also having a bad week. Yes, it's moving. It's moved down 16.79%. I have a theory that Riot's going to perform very well, um, and maybe that's wrong. You know, right now it is performing the worst I think so far out of any of them that we've looked at. Um, I guess Iron's dropped a little bit more over the past few weeks, but um, this week definitely Riot's taking the cake. Uh, also at the low phase, lower parts of its consolidation range. Right, whole phase of consolidation here that it's been in for a long time, um, really since. 2023 since over a year ago and it's probably at one of the better areas to buy it'll probably break out any week now as well time will tell um but i'm not worried i don't think riot's dead in the water i think it's just you know coming to the end of this consolidation phase but when will it end that's that's kind of the question so that's riot uh and where will it move probably around 36 to 40 dollars as well um Bit Farms is our last one, and this one might take a little bit more time because we don't talk about it all the time. But from from a high to a low here, you have found resistance on your 786, close below your uh, 618 again. So you could move lower down to like 218. You're at 246 right now, but it's not totally crazy to hold support at this 0.5 area, um, basically where you are now, at around 240 to 246. Your weekly RSI is looking good, kind of neutral but good. Uh, bouncing off of this area would, would look nice, bouncing off the weekly. It would give you a, li a little wiggle room to move down uh, just a little bit. So if you, if you close the week lower than like 
241, 240 itself, or, or at least just around there. You're at 246 now. So if you close it a little bit lower, I think you're okay. Um, but again, 218, your 382, that could be the area you go to to hold support. If we look at the relative low here, the relative high, uh, that 382 lines up with your 0.5. You're already showing significance on this 0.5, so maybe maybe you see that. Um, you could go lower. I, I doubt that you do, though. Uh, I think 218 would be the low that I would give it at the lowest, but really I'm, I'm kind of in favor of you holding this area. Time will tell. Uh, but that daily RSI does look a little bit um, worse for wear. It does look a little bit worse for wear. I don't know. You're kind of near the 50 on your weekly. You're also near the 40 on your daily. So a bounce off the 50 on your weekly, a bounce off the 40 on your daily would be nice, but both of those would imply that you go a little bit lower, maybe tomorrow and Monday next week, maybe just tomorrow. It depends, but I think you are at the low point of this consolidation phase as well, and you'll probably move up any given day or week, right? It might, it might take some time. It might not be next week, but sooner than later. And if not, you know, in this overall aspect of the consolidation range, you could move lower and you'd still be fine. So um, I don't know what else to say. I think they're all, they're all chilling. They'll break out to the upside. They've got higher price targets in mind from a high to low. I think Bit Farms would want to see $5 to $7 on its next move up. But when will that be? That's the real question. So that's all I've got to say. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all for being here. Bye-bye.